welcome to my channel. My name is Eagle Press, and today we're gonna do some shopping. Man, it's been a while since I've said those words, and they feel really good. Now, as you guys remember, a while back, I did a Ross fragrance video, in which I tried to find as many fragrances as I, as I could for under 25 bucks. And since it's been a while since I've done that, I figured let's keep the series going and let's go to Burlington. And before we get started, please be sure to like this video if you guys enjoyed it. And do not forget that I live stream every single Wednesday and Sunday on twitch.tv slash it's begun underscore press. And now that we got that part out of the way, let's get started. Another great successful haul. Now let's head home. Okay, so there's been a slight change of plans. So normally I would be heading home and reviewing these fragrances, well, in my office, but, but I still have a lot of things that I gotta get done out here now that I'm out, well, out and about. So instead of waiting until I head home, I'm instead gonna be reviewing them right here inside of my car. So first things first, I know what you guys are wondering, how much did I spend and how many fragrances did I get? Well, I ended up buying two fragrances and the grand total was $19.46. So I did pretty well. Now let's take a look at what I got. So the first fragrance that I ended up buying is Curve Spark. This came out to about $9.99, even though the price tag is pretty much uh, cut up. Let's open this up and see how it looks. If you guys have ever seen any of the Liz Claiborne or Calborn Curve fragrances, you would recognize the shape of this bottle, which is pretty much, well, it's the basic shape, but it looks more tall, if that makes any sense, even though this is like about 30 milliliters. <clears throat> you know what? I think I'm just gonna let you guys read the, how much is in there. I'm gonna take a chunk of cardboard that was in the curve box, and I'm just gonna spray this on there. I'm gonna have to do an in-depth review on this because this smells just like blue de Chanel. Yo, for 10 bucks? For 10 bucks, this is an absolute steal. If you ever find a bottle of this stuff, I highly recommend that you get it because this smells very similar to blue de Chanel. The next fragrance that I ended up buying is Nissan 350Z which came out to about $7.99. This is the, how much is in here? 100 milliliters, so this is, this is a chunky boy. For eight bucks, not bad. This is the most 2000 era bottle I have ever seen. It looks nice though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna use the exact same trick that I used on the last one, which is taking out a piece of the cardboard, spraying it on there and seeing how it smells. Got the cardboard ready. Spritz it down, shake it up. This smells like a very toned down version of Obsession by Calvin Klein. It definitely has a few leather notes. Oh wait, hold on. It faded away really fast. Let me try this out on my skin. I mean, it has a nice opening smell, but it fades away really quickly. To make things fair, I'm gonna spray the Curve on my skin as well. The Curve definitely has a bit of a, it has a longer lasting scent. Whereas with the 350Z, it starts to fade away really quickly and you can't pick it up. I still stand by what it said. I still recommend that you get the Curve Spark. And as for the as for the 350Z, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not gonna last very long in your skin. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you next time.